Hello boys and girls, my name is White Rhino PSO, and today we are continuing Jill of the Jungle. Uh, so, we just finished level 6, and now we have the two gems that we need to continue onward. Uh, I think this means that we could skip level 7 if we really wanted to, but we're going to try and beat it anyway. Jill explores the forest. Oh, nice. Alright, so... This is the first time we're getting a spinning blade, which works a little differently compared to the knives. Uh, the spinning blades kind of fire out and bounce around, uh, but you do not need to pick them up again in order to keep using them. Uh, you can only have as many on the screen as you have in your inventory, though. Uh, nice. And, uh, like most weapons, I think they're generally a one-hit kill for a lot of the different enemies you encounter. Uh, so now we're also finding water for the first time. If you touch water on the side, it just makes a little sound effect. If you touch water from the top, like if I jumped into that area of standing water to the right, it would immediately kill your character. Uh, so you also have to be very careful of that. Oh, that was close. Uh, we have a jump power-up now. Very nice. I believe this is one of the levels that was featured in the demo. Uh, for some reason, the demo to this game... Um, shows a single level from each of the three different episodes of the game, which is pretty nice, because it's a good way to actually let players see um, what later episodes are going to be like. Right, so now we have the ability... Before, we couldn't jump this high, but with the jump power-up, now we can make it over to the left. Now is a good time to save your game. You know what? Sure. Oh yeah, I forgot about the, uh, the creepy eyes. Go up. Well, first I'm gonna go over here and kill a bunch of birds. Damn it. Oh yeah, alright, so another aspect of this game is transformations. Um, because I touched this symbol, whatever the hell that is, now I am a little bird as well. Uh, which you use shift to fly upward, and you use the alternate key to uh, fire your flames, which the normal birds can't do. Uh, for whatever reason, the flames can also be shot through walls, but only if they're one block thick. I think that might be um, just a programming mistake because the flames come out like one full square away from you. Uh, also, if you are a uh, phoenix and you touch water of any sort, you immediately die. Is there anything up here? Just more apples. I mean, they are worth a decent number of points, so might as well keep getting them. Alright, and we're over by the water now, so no real reason to keep going to the right. Damn it. Um, we have a key, so we could get another gem. I believe you can theoretically leave a level as, uh, Phoenix Jill. I'm not sure if there's a reason not to. Oh, right, I remember this Easter egg. Um, for whatever reason, this particular level is connected to the actual map level of the game. I'm not sure if all the levels are connected to each other like this, but at least this one is, where... For some reason, there's the Jill word there, and uh, that's the Epic Games point sign that we collected earlier. 
Or maybe this is just level... Oh no, this is level 1! That's not the map level. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Uh, but yes, if you're in any form other than Jill, and you touch the word Jill, it just turns you back in, into Jill. And of course I had to fall in such a way that I took damage. Great. Uh, back to the jungle map, and now we have three gems. That's a little strange. So I know we need... I, need, I know we needed two there. Bonus. Alright. Hopefully there's uh, some health in this bonus area. This kind of vine maze, I guess. Good lord. Where the hell is this taking me? Other than to a bonus area with a jump power up? Oh. So that just leads around to the other side of six. Jill bounds into the bonus level. I don't really remember this at all. That is horrible music! Uh, we have no weapons... yet. Oh, that's the exit. I don't want to go there yet. Oh, I'm definitely lowering the volume on this section. No weapons yet, huh? I didn't know that the crabs could do that. This is a very strange level. Now press up or down to toggle switches. All right. There's a bunch of jump power-ups there. Yeah, as you can see, the jump power-ups definitely stack. All right, what the hell did that do for me? Because I don't get to keep those jump power-ups. That is weird. Alright, I want to go back down the vines here just to see if there was anything else, because there was a fairly large cave full of vines. Yeah, no, there's nothing down here. This is a very strange bonus area. Like, that level didn't really have much in the way of points either. Just a whole bunch of apples. Alright, uh, so now we continue back down here. Uh, news bulletin, Nukem enters Ford Clinic, and it's spelled the correct way, too. It's not spelled N-U-K-U-M like the first game really was. Another superhero has withdrawn from the video game business in an unprecedented exodus from the industry. Uh, the hero, D. Nukem, checked into the Betty Ford Clinic yesterday. Jesus. I couldn't hick help it, said Nukem. Those people at Epic Mega Games are way too good to compete with. Upon hearing the news, Jill commented, Poor old guy. Kinda makes me feel guilty for knocking his game off the top ten. So now they're trying to say that Jill of the Jungle is so good that it drove Duke Nukem to drinking. Uh, Jill sneaks into Arg's dungeon. All right. I seem to remember that this was uh, one of my favorite levels because you get the spinning blade, but then all of these, um, all of these rocks break when you hit them with a weapon. So I used to like making sure I cleaned out every goddamn rock in the level. Uh, 
Uh, but you do want to be a little careful because, well, I mean, they give you platforms in order to do things. So even if you clean out all of the rocks, you can still progress through the level. But obviously it's going to be a little bit easier to make certain jumps if you have more rocks to climb on. I want to see what's down at the bottom before we go up through the top. Also, the uh, breaking glass sound effect can get a little annoying after a while. It looks like there's really nothing else except for clearing a path for this particular elevator. So we have the key, so now we can go to the right, which just takes us out of the level. These levels are exceptionally small, like they're a lot smaller than I remember them being. Alright, so now we're locked in. Uh, we have another bonus area, which I don't think we can go to just yet. Uh, we've got nine, we've got ten, and two gems required to leave. Uh, Jill enters the Phoenix Maze. Oh, I sort of remember this one. I believe it turns you into a phoenix, and then you have an actual maze that you have to go through. Damn it, that hint was basically saying flaming birds don't like water. Damn it. Now I remember why this maze sucked. Oh, I didn't realize you could actually kill the ghosts. Okay. Yeah, most of the keys... This is probably the most difficult level, just because of the, um... The areas where you have to very carefully lower yourself near the water in order to get a key. was probably the most difficult section as well. All these areas where if you're not careful, you're just going to fall directly into water. Oh, that made my hands so friggin' sweaty. Well, I missed some uh, some apples, and there's no way to have gotten the entirety of the epic point sign. But at least now we have the gem from level 9. Uh, Jill ventures into the night puzzle. Oh. To turn a switch on or off, move underneath the switch and press up or down. Oh, I remember... Okay. Uh, I remember this level, sort of. This one is definitely we're going to require a lot of saving. Alright, that one is now raised. So that one is now raised. Uh, oh, also, yeah, that's the lovely laughter sound effect that happens when, uh, when Jill dies a horrible and bloody death. Alright. We now have the multi-switch puzzles. Which somehow I got very quickly, like, I... That was entirely by luck. Nice, we have another one of the blades. And now we get to see our first uh, instance of 
the platforms that appear and disappear over time. Damn it. So they won't kill you if they appear while you're there. Damn it. Um, but it does make things a little more... Damn it. It does make things a little more difficult when you're really trying to... How many keys do I need? There's at least two, four. All right. This is another one where you don't want to break all of the rocks. If only because keeping a few rocks means you're going to have more platforms to stand on once the, uh, once the blue ones fade away. And of course, this was another, uh, another area where, as a kid, I would make sure to destroy each and every uh, little boulder that was in the entire level. Back to the jungle map. Now my question is, how do I get to that bonus area at the bottom left here? Is it open now? No. That's weird. Oh, but at least I can uh, make my way through here. Oh, maybe it... Oh, this might be it. Let me go check. Nice, there we go. Uh, Alright, so the game was made by... I think his name was Tim Sweeney? So that's kind of a neat little Easter egg. Tim 1992. I'm not sure... Uh, that was probably less points than I got from the previous bonus level. Uh, news bulletin, video game industry collapses, Washington UPI. Except for one company, the video game industry yesterday collapsed into an immense pile of rubble. Gee, too bad, said the entire industry. Those people at Epic make such great games that nobody pays attention to us. The industry then began to cry and whine. Epic Mega Games, currently vacationing in the, in the Bahamas, could not be reached for comment. Jesus. Jill creeps into the dark forest. I guess I never realized as a kid, that's that horrible music again. Um, that was luck. Alright, I think I want to get... Oh, that spikes. Alright, that's the way out. I guess I have to be very careful in this level. Because otherwise I might get myself killed by spikes. Oh, that was a unintentional trick shot. If you're really good, you can time. I don't want to make that jump. It's probably something that's going to give me a platform over there. Now is a good time to save your game? Yeah, you better believe it. Oh, that guy looks fun. Alright, so I don't know what that lever did other than that. And we got jellyfish? We got, uh... Oh, shit. Nice. Alright. Um... Damn it. Alright, um... Thankfully, this is one of those games that lets you save mid-level. Uh, actually, it looks like we're just about out of time right now anyway, so, uh, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.